The second Harrisonburg City Council Forum was held Tuesday night Memorial Hall. All eight candidates attended the event, and only three spots are up for grabs in this election. Would you support offering new local business tax abatements for their first year of operations to support their success? Yes, any way that we can attract um, businesses to open here um, and still remain here in 20 years. Uh, however, I think I want to also look at not only the business aspect of this, but the employee aspect of this. We've our city has been growing by about 1,000 people per year for the last five years. And in order to sustain that growth, we have to continue to have more jobs. Some people are concerned about a lack of education and enforcement regarding bicycle use. Do you see this as the city's responsibility? I think what we're seeing in the city is a change in culture, in a way. A culture change where cars are no longer quite king anymore, but biking or bicyclists and pedestrians are important as well. I think it'd be great to, to educate students at JMU. Uh, that's one of the biggest questions I've gotten going door to door recently is, yeah, you support this pedestrian friendly infrastructure, but what do you do about the people that are riding the wrong way and riding on sidewalks? I say part of the way that we can fix that is to properly put infrastructure in place so that the alternative is a better one and they don't have to choose the safer route, they can choose the right route. Now, whenever we do roads, bike and pedestrian infrastructure is part of it. Um, and one of the reasons, um, sorry, it was just a good thing, is that we see the difficulty in these places where it wasn't put and where the city doesn't own the property. We can't just go in and put the sidewalks in because we'd like to. Characterize the role that you see JMU playing in the evolution of Harrisonburg during the next five to ten years. We've seen a transformation where Harrisonburg is less a place where students just happen to live while getting an education and then head elsewhere. And more a place where people decide to stay, get a job, and call it home. Realistically, without a 20,000 um, student population at JMU, and let's not also forget EMU, a lot of these services would not be here, and our real estate taxes would have to be higher in order to provide essential services for the city.